What's up everybody welcome to your 28th PHP tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be uh, connecting to the database uh, to make the game and also making tables so we can make our first PHP game now just a reminder uh, to you guys anytime you guys want the code that I'm working on if you guys think you made an error or something you can use my code as a template just go to the new boston.com scroll down here scroll down until you find the place that says uh, PHP right here and all of my source code is going to be right here here's the source code for my last tutorial it's right there and another thing make sure you're watching these videos in high quality you see how the text is kind of fuzzy on your screen now if you watch in high quality it won't be like that at all so go ahead and watch in high quality now once we have all that done and you're watching in high quality you can go ahead and what we need to do after our last tutorial about a form we need to make a way to connect to the database so you're gonna go ahead and have to create a new file and you can name it um, config uh, let's go ahead and file save as um, uh, conf save it as that.php right right there and let's go ahead and connect to the database and we're gonna be ha we're gonna have to use this file in all of our other files so um let me just show you guys what to do first we need to make a PHP we don't need any HTML code in this since we're just gonna have to include this in all of the, our files that we're working on when we need to connect to a database so just to uh, show you guys real quick uh, we need a variable called host and this is going to be host name and inside your uh, put it's going to be local host and this is just in case you guys forgot how to make a database which I showed you guys in the last tutorial so make a variable called host and this is going to be where your, your host is 99 percent of the time it's going to be local host the next is the username and this is the username to the database um, it's not the username for your game or anything like that so your username is gonna be the username to your database and whatever you name it it's gonna go in there uh, the next thing you want to do is create a variable called the password for your database and of course um, database password and it's probably going to be like something like secret or something like that and the last variable is your database name uh, put db underscore name and um, it's going to be something like I know I spelled that wrong don't you don't have to comment my video a hundred times telling me um, Takora under Takora name so these are the four variables that you need when connecting to your database now um, connect to database to connect to your database this is what you need to do my sql underscore connect and this is the part where you need to get right and in your empty parameters this is a built-in function that connects to your database my sql connect it takes um, uh, let's see three parameters the first one uh, all we have to do is at our variable host the first one it requires the host uh, location of your database and since this is local host we're gonna add the variable host so add a comma the next parameter it takes is the username to access your database so let's add the uh, variable username and the last parameter it needs is the password to get into your database so again host username password now that is gonna connect but um, let's say if it can't connect or die um, so if we if it can't connect we wanna have the message cannot connect to server was this shouldn't happen if you typed everything correctly but maybe if your server is down or something we just want a message uh, showing us why we can't connect 
now that we connected um, to the server we need to select what database we want to connect to so the built-in function for this is my SQL underscore select underscore database this selects what database we want to connect to since um whenever we're on our uh, server we might have a bunch of websites with a bunch of different databases so this uh, says that we want to use what database we want to use and for this the parameter it takes is the database name so let's go ahead and put uh, DB name and if it can't select that database or it or die alright if you can't select it um, we want you to output cannot select database so right here make sure uh, you connect and whenever you make your database that's where you figure out all these things the host of your database that's all that's gonna be the same for me or you the three things that are gonna be different are this you're gonna have a different username a different password and a different uh, database name and you need these two things right here this is gonna be the same for us too the only thing that you need to change again just go get this whole file and just copy it right on your site the only thing that you guys need to change is whatever username you're using whatever password you're using and whatever you named your database other than that you guys can just copy this po code and paste it right into your game that's how easy I'm making it for you guys so again once you have that and uh, remember what your file name is because we're going to be using it a lot once you have your database the next thing we're going to want to do is add some tables in there so let's go ahead and um, go ahead and create a database and I'm going to need you guys to insert two tables the first table we're going to make is called temp t-e-m-p and this is in the fields you're going to have to enter in this is code and this is going to generate a unique uh, verification code to make sure that no one uh, or no spam can just enter a bunch of usernames um, it's kind of just a spam prevention a username email and password and remember all of these we made the form for it in the last tutorial so this is temp what this is going to do is it's going to make a temporary table for users to register and then we're going to have to send them a link in their email and once they click that link in the email we're going to insert all their information into a permanent table called users U-S-E-R-S -E and this is going to have an ID, username, email, password so uh, you guys don't have to understand that right now but again make a table called temp that has a fields code username, email, password and this is temporary going to store their data and once they verify that they aren't spam it's going to move it into a table called users with a field ID, username, email, password. And I know this is kind of confusing, but a lot of you guys were saying, all right, we're done with the basic stuff. We want to get ready for the more advanced stuff. So here you go. Here it is. So again, go ahead and make your confirmation connection file. Remember what the name of it is up here. And after that, make a table in your database called temp that has these fields and one that has users that has these fields. Well, excuse me. And after that, you are ready to move on to making your next registration file. So, study this, get everything exactly as I have it, and once you're done, and don't forget that all of this code is going to be on the newboston.com. So, if you want to skip all this and just get the code and copy it in your website and go, go there, copy the code and put it right into your website. So again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.